Have you ever been a ventriloquist? I've never been a ventriloquist. Do you have any other shirts? Uh, I actually wish I did, but this is the only one. Have you ever been outside of that shirt? This is a tattoo. Full body. Fishing for a Sound with Matthew Deer, the show where I fish for good sound. Let's uh, take a look at the water today and see exactly what we're going to be fishing for. All right, everybody. Today we have a, quite a few selections here. We've got a, a classic stylus there. That's for the, the wild vinyl sounds. I'm not going to do any record sampling today, so I don't think that's going to be in there. An old school, large, compact flash, four gigabyte. That could get some pretty good stuff. Um, 
you know, you've got your MIDI cables and your adapters. I got a modular patch cable just in case we're going to get some modular sounds out of there, but I don't think it's going to happen today based on the uh, the wind pattern. Uh, I'm guessing today is probably going to be a really good use of one of my uh, 8 gigabyte USB sticks. You know, these I just picked up along the way, you know, here and there, touring. Uh, some of these were even given to me by fans or, or friends, uh, but I'm going to repurpose them today, catching some good sounds here on Fishing for a Sound. This is the one. Let's give it a cast. It's not a bad cast. Sorry, the mic fell down my pants. Let's have to fake this. Hello? Test, test. I don't want to deal with this. We're going to fake it. I got enough sound. Um, there's always hiccups involved. But we'll get there. Oh! Whoa! That's a doozy. That's a big one. It's like a kick drum. Might be an 808 bass. Oh! Come on up. Let's get the net. Let's get the net. It's down there. Some sound doesn't want to come out of the pond. You're coming with me, sound. This is what it's all about. Oh, yeah. There's a picture of a snare drum on my grandfather's refrigerator. Big snare drum he caught, like a 22 inch. Now, my dad used to fish for sound with eight tracks and reel to reels. Those are coming back, but you know, these days, USB stick will do you just fine. Just gotta get down in there and sample it. Come on, sound. This one's being tough. This sound doesn't want to come out. This sound's being a real stick in the mud. This boy's not cooperating. Come on now. Oh, we got a real stubborn one here. Oh, this guy doesn't want to come home. You're coming with me. We're going to put you in a song. Fishing for sound, Matthew Deer. We'll be right back. Jimmy, we're gonna need the net. You got it? Huh. There we go, let's do this. Let's get this sound in. Let's get the sound of the boat. Might lose the line, might drop the sound. Can't fall in, can't fall in. Oh, there it is, there it is, I got it. Come on, here we go. Oh, shit. This is a mess. We got insurance. Let's beat it to death. All right, here we go. I'm gonna scoop it up. There it is. All oh, right, really little leaves in there too. It's a good looking sound. That was worth the fight. That was worth the fight right there, y'all. Now let's take a listen to the sound we caught. Oh, I'll be right back, sorry. I'll leave the mic here. Subscribe button. Beep. Welcome to Two Minute Painting with me, Matthew Deer. All right, here we go again. This is going to be fun. I can feel it this time. Five, three, two, one, go. that we're going to need way 
more than that. Let's just wet this up. Let's just wet this up. Get it all over the place. Yeah, I could do a better job than this. Go for some red. Oh, that's looking pretty. We're looking one minute, 30 seconds. This is the best I've ever done. Oh, there's nothing in that one. Let's get some more water in there. Oh, that is just gorgeous. Somebody might mistake this for a Rothko. Can you just drink the paint? Have him drink all the paint, please. Oh, I just went Christmas. I just went Christmas card. We'll see what happens here. I did not intend to go Christmas. Okay, here we go. Let's, let's start over here with some blue. This is a uh, Pacific Gratitude blue. Oh, I like those colors. I've done these colors before. It's funny how that kind of happens, you know? All right, here we go. We need to get crazy now. Let's get crazy. Let's just take a big mess of that. Swap it down. Okay, we got 45 seconds left. This is the longest two minutes of my life. Not show yourself in painting. That's what I've learned. I will, if, if I ever know that I've been here, just it's it's a failure. Uh, we got 30 seconds here. Let's get some moss. Let's get some moss in there. Maybe a little bit of water. Maybe a little more water. That was too much water. 20 seconds. Here we go. Uh, okay, let's just take the rest of this here with that. It's getting all over my face. That's good. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. I finished early on this one, ladies and gentlemen. One. There you go. Who's letting him do this? Yeah, thanks for joining me. Maybe a giant bird will fly by and just take him. That's pretty cool. That's crazy. Wow. You working on that one for a while? Seems like the raccoon's back. Oh, hey, JJ, you came out early today. Thanks for checking in. I just had some business to take care of um, nearby, so... You know, I just took care of it. I just thought I'd come over and say hi. You smell pretty good, JJ. What, what are you wearing? It smells expensive. <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah, it's, it's just something I picked up in, in um, Luxembourg. The scent. I'll look it up and I'll, I'll email you there the, the name of the scent. That's cool. That's cool. But yeah, it's going pretty well in Luxembourg. I can't get you a gig there, though. Do you, want to, you, want to play, you don't want to play there, do you? It's actually not going really well in Luxembourg. You don't want to be there. It's kind of boring. Hold on. Got a call coming in. Yeah? Oh, yeah. I was just there. Oh, it's wicked. It's so fun. Yeah. Oh, that Luxembourg's great. Oh, yeah, it's crazy. He's, like, throwing money at people. 
So many people I know get to play there. I saw like five great shows in one night. Yeah. Okay. Who is this? Oh, wait. Sorry. Hey, yeah, sorry, Matt. Yeah, let's come here. sucks. You don't want to go there. Hey, JJ, have you seen my AD scarf anywhere? The, the free one I got from Amsterdam Dance Event in 2018. It's like black and yellow. Really soft. Really nice scarf. Can't see it. Last time I had it, I set it down right when I got back from the airport. Next to um, a sandwich and some batteries. Wait a minute. You put it by an old sandwich? Or it was a new sandwich then. And some batteries? That was, what, three years ago? Uh oh. Hmm. I've heard of something happening before with a free scarf from ADE. A sandwich that got all moldy and some batteries that started leaking. I wonder what would happen if they fused to do each other after all these years. They're leaving your Tesla? Hmm. Uh, no, it's not my Tesla. I've, been, I've never driven your Tesla, but <laughs> is there any chance that I left it? I think I'm just asking, can you give me a ride in your Tesla one day? Uh, hmm. Yeah, I don't, my seats are kind of loose. I think the seat might be too loose for you. I gotta go. See ya. You feel me? for joining me i'm finishing up the duck house right now and uh make sure everything's level then i'm gonna put up the chicken wire so help me out if you could Hey everybody, just finished uh, 
the duck house. Been working on it for a while. And we've got our ducks in here. Hoot, honey, muffin, you guys met them before. What do you think? Do you like it? Yeah. Hey, Thirsty. Do you like it? I think so. It's a little rainy, but we got to get you in here. Good nose tip. Well, there's only one thing left to do. Let's break it in. So, good night. I'm going to go to bed with my friends. Let's go. Come on. You guys want to get in for the first time? I brought my pillow. Come on. It's a party. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. You guys going to come? Are you going to come? Watch your head. That's not comfortable. Ooh, spacious. Champagne, that sounded pretty good. Thanks, 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 thanks. Appreciate it, appreciate it, appreciate it, appreciate it, appreciate it. Appreciate it, appreciate it, appreciate it. Hey, I'm wondering, have you seen, I had this free ADE scarf, you know, the Amsterdam dance event from 2018. I've just been looking for it. Have you seen it by chance? No, I haven't seen it. Did, Did you, you check, check inside, inside the boogla? Sometimes, Sometimes scarfs end up inside the boogla. I didn't think to look inside the book with champagne. But uh, thanks for your advice, okay? I'll keep keep an eye out for it. Matt. Matt. I just saw something. I've never seen anything like it before. It looks kind of like that old 80 East Cup you were asking about. But it was, it was movie. Kind of looked like a sandwich and some cables. Oh man. Yeah, JJ just like kind of left and when he left he just looked at me like, like he just didn't want to be here. But that's that's kind of normal, but he also looked at me like he kind of seen something weird, you know? You don't think he would, he would leave us here with an ADE scarf that turned into a monster, would he? Yes. I am the AD scarf that you got for free in 2018. You set me down next to some batteries and a sandwich. I've morphed into an alive AD scarf. Just alive now.
and I'm quite angry. No, I'm not going to eat any of you. No, mainly I just want to know if you can give me guest list on the uh, SoundCloud panel. But wait, what year is it now? Oh, so it's no longer 2018. Ah, but I really wanted to see the panelists. Ah, oh, yes, it was a really uh, exciting merging of ideas. I have to wait until next year, okay? That I can do, can I, uh, maybe stick around and help out here? Fantastic, thank you. Okay, bye. Hey there, we're here for a special two minute painting edition, face painting by my daughter Asha. And we have Senna in the background. All right, let's see what happens. Five, four, three, two, one. Go for it, Asha. Feels cool and wet on my forehead. <laughs> About the time, you might be running out of time. I just start going crazy with it. I will in a second. Oh, I'm, I'm feeling a circle. One minute and twenty seconds. About a minute and fifteen. One minute. Feels good. That died in my phone. Ooh. Ooh, 45 seconds. Thirty seconds. It's very cool. Slightly dry. Twenty seconds. Fifteen seconds. <laughs> Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. All done. Two minute painting with Asha Deer. <laughs> All right. How'd you feel it went? I think it went good. I was hoping to have enough time to do the the last second touches on both cheeks instead of on only one cheek, though. Right on. It feels great. I still haven't seen it. <laughs> I'm excited to. Well, any advice for the next person that ever wants to do this? I think that they should try to cover the whole face and make everything big and do a lot of designs that have white. A lot of designs that have white substitute for having a white base. Sounds good. All right. Well, we'll see you next time on Two Minute Painting with Matthew Deer and family. <laughs> the only thing I know is to be quiet when playing. Hello. Hello. Yeah, no. <laughs> you filming?
Hey everybody, Matt here. Uh, today we're gonna make a bug hotel. We made one at four school and it was fun. So let's make one together. What you're gonna need is a box, small box or structure that the bugs are gonna wanna come and live in and a bunch of fun stuff to put inside of it to decorate it. Some natural items from nature to put inside of the bug hotel. So those bugs are gonna wanna come and make a house there. You'll need a stick. Any old stick will do. Something you can cut up and make some holes in it. Uh, not too rotten. This one seems like it'll do. You'll also need some moss. There's some beautiful fern moss here that just loves to hang out in the forest. And it just stays green and vibrant all year long. And this would make a great shag carpet interior for any bug that I've met. Um, also hanging out here, we have some false turkey tails. Uh, these are pretty old. They've been on this old dying uh, white oak for a very long time. But they're not really turkey tails. They're false turkey tails. These mushrooms would fail a lie detector test when being asked, are you a turkey tail mushroom? The polygraph administrator would definitely fail them for that because they are not turkey tails. Still harmless though. What else you could get for your bug hotel? Anything you want, as long as it's natural. Uh, pine cones, rocks, sticks of any size, and pretty much everything that, you know, a bug could nest up inside. Put it in your garden, have fun, and see if any bugs come and make a house. Fun fact, over 80% of life on Earth are bugs. That's crazy. Can you imagine if they weren't here? Given that such high number, I don't think we'll have a hard time finding some now. I've got a trusty bug and slug guide that can help me identify some and a magnifying glass. So let's go out and dig up some rocks and sticks gently and see if we can find some creatures that might one day make a home in our bug hotel. Let's go. I found this cool stump that a squirrel been munching some nuts on. Let's see if there's anything living under here. Now, I want to be gentle. If I do displace a little bit of their home, there's plenty more for them to, you know, tuck back under after we leave. Let's see what's under here. Now, this old white oak has been totally munched on by a mushroom, a fungus, for a very long time. And that's why it is so rotten. But hey, the thing about rotten trees, you might think, oh, they're useless now. But that's actually a whole new cycle of life that happens for the little creatures, the little beasts. Um, they'll all make a nest in here. And uh, this stump here will give life for another hundred years, probably, to more and more creatures. So every time you see a stump in the forest, don't think it's just useless. It's still being used. All right, let's see what's under here. Lots of mycelium. I see something poking out here. You guys ready? There's a little earthworm right here. Look at this. There's an earthworm. See that? I'll let that earthworm get back in. See how he's, he's nesting up in there. He's already got a pretty good bug hotel. I don't think he'll be coming to ours. That's cool. See you later, buddy. Bugs are very big decomposers for us in the natural world. They're basically the garbage disposal of the earth. But you know what else is? Mushrooms, fungus. And here we go, we got a little bit of the white mycelium here. You can see that it's kind of on the outer edge of the spark. But look what happens as you get closer, deeper inside. All these stringy uh, filaments here, that's, that's the mycelial network of this, this fungus that's eating this tree. Uh, and it's gonna be eating this tree for a very long time. Big buffet here. And just look at the webbing of of lines and the thing is as we've learned all of this mycelium is connected around the entire forest floor so it can talk in a way communicate with the entire forest through this kind of network of mycelium let's check out under this big log oh sun yeah oh there we go jackpot we got all sorts of stuff under here Hi, you guys want to come to my hotel? I got free Wi-Fi. Well, we got got some beetles of some sort. Uh, definitely a slug. Ooh, there goes a little centipede. Hey, we'll put this log back. You guys be happy. Okay, see you later. We've collected our items. We met some bugs, future tenants. So I think we're ready. Let's go make that bug hotel. There you go. 
got our bug hotel all ready to go. I packed everything in real tight so it doesn't fall out, and those bugs will have a nice safe place to build their home. You can set it anywhere you want, as long as it's got fresh air, some sunlight, I think they'll be happy. You know what? Last thing it's missing is a little sign. Let's make a little sign for the bugs to welcome them to their new home. I picked up this flat rock. Should do just fine for the sign I'm going to make. Let's paint a little sign for these bugs. Welcome to the new home. And there it is. All ready to go. Ready to move in. If I was a bug, I'd want to live there. Is a shell cutting? Is a shell cutting? Is a shell cutting? Is a shell cutting? Is a shell Pony hat there. Yeah, oh, there you put it in the back part. This is real. Getting used to it now. Are you filming?
nothing like being outside with your modular.
Pony hat there. Yeah, oh, hey, put in the back part. This is real. Getting used to it now. Are you filming? <laughs>